Texas weather is constantly impacting our houses. We have sun, wind, rain, but it's hail that causes the most damage, and it's the roof that takes the brunt of it. In a controlled environment and a safety plan in place, we teamed up with Cole Blevins of Rhino Roofers for a demonstration. It's air cannon time. Using homemade ice balls between one and two and a half inches in diameter and air pressure up to 80 PSI, we replicated what hail could do to a roof. Six cameras, including a drone, captured it all. Now, I need to point out, this is a non-scientific experiment, but super fun. Introducing El Canyon de Hailstone. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Time for a larger hailstone and a hailstone that's more solid. Hail a little over two inches in diameter, about the size of an egg to slightly larger. Just under 80 PSI. Three, two, one. Okay. Shot number two. Scope it out. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a roofer, and I'd say yeah. we got some damage here. All right. All right, Cole, what are we looking at here? Um, so you can see here that the hail, it's impacted the shingles, right? So what's going to happen over time is as it, you know, it's exposed to more moisture, all these shingles are going to start to wash out, exposing the asphalt. Once that asphalt's exposed to the sun, you're going to have exposed fiberglass, <clears throat> and that fiberglass is going to act like a sponge. Anytime it comes into contact with any moisture, it's going to soak that moisture up and eventually that moisture is going to work its way into your home. <laughs> 